welcome back to the football and down it's the day of league two previews today we've got the Stockport county versus harrogate away preview we're now going to do the knox county versus mansfield town preview i'm not sure which one will be up on the channel beforehand so i'm recording this one first but this one may be out before the county preview it's quite possible by the time you're watching this the county preview may also be on the channel as well so if you're interested in that go check out the channel for more videos coming up but let's get into Knox County versus Mansfield Town then okay so it's a massive game in League 2 Mansfield Town take on Knox County away from home first versus fifth in the league at the moment it's a massive massive game uh, obviously both teams looking to get promoted this season Mansfield were close last season uh, I think they finished just outside the playoffs they might have been in the playoffs Knox County of course in the National League finished second to Wrexham uh, but they've been fantastic so far this season, as I say, first place at the moment. When you look at the quality that they've got in the team, I mean, you look at some of the players they've got. David, Mag you know, David McGoldrick's a standout player, of course, former Premier League player, player for Sheffield United. When you look at the, the names as well, there's other names in there. Uh, John Bostock, Dan Crowley, Macaulay, Langstaff. Uh, they all know how to find the net as well. In fact, well, I've got the number here. Um, but between the four of them, there's a combined record of goals so far in League Two this season of 21. Now, when you factor in the, the you know the point that Notts County have only scored 27 goals, I say only, but 27 goals in the League Two so far this season, 21 of them have just come from them four players alone. It says the quality of them players in terms of finding the back of the net. Uh, but of course, it's Langstaff who stands out the most with eight goals in League Two so far. To his name, he will be the threat. But I think McGoldrick's got six himself. Again, I'm not sure who's available in terms of injuries and that, but if you look at it and say all them three or four players are available, there's some serious firepower behind Notts County going into this game. As I say, it's going to be some serious firepower to deal with for Mansfield Town. 27 goals so far this season. 21 of them have come from them three or four players, uh, but also even more worrying for Mansfield Town, it's away from home. It's a home game for Notts County. It's where they're at the best so far this season. Five wins in five, and they've scored 15 goals at home in that time as well. So they're really racking up the goals at home. And Mansfield will have a difficult game on the hands against Notts County tomorrow. As I say, it's a massive, massive game in League Two. I know it's early on in the season, but as I say, first versus fifth, two teams are looking to get promoted this season. And it's a Sky Sports game because of the international break. They've put this game on at half 12. It's going to be a big game. I'm looking forward to watching it because I couldn't get to Harrogate tomorrow as. Very little tickets were allocated. I wasn't able to get a ticket in time, but I'm massively looking forward to watching this one because potentially results go right for Stockport County. They could make top spot uh, to you know by the end of tomorrow night. So we'll have to wait and see um, what happens in the Notts County Mansfield game. And as I say, for any Stockport County fans who are unable to get a ticket for Harrogate away tomorrow, I, I guess keep an eye on this game because it could be important for us. So we've spoke about Notts County's real firepower behind them. But Mansfield Town, whilst they don't possess the same sort of excited attacking names as Notts County do, they do have a well-experienced EFL defender uh, in their ranks. Aidan Flint, the former Swindon, Bristol City, Middlesbrough, Cardiff City, Sheffield Wednesday and Stoke City defender, quite a lot of teams there, arrived on a free in August from Stoke City and he's contributed to a Mansfield side as the fewest goals conceded in League 2 this season with just nine goals conceded. This has massively helped them keep one of the highest goal difference in, in League 2 so far this season and just four points off the top spot. I think a big question as well that you've got to ask yourself going into this kind of game where, as I say, it is a massive game. I can't, I, you know, I can't ignore the importance of this kind of fixture. I know it's early on in the season, but it's a big game, uh, and especially with it being on Sky as well. It uh, gives it more coverage, I suppose. But what's the expectation of both teams going into this season? I mean, Mansfield were close last season. Um, Notts County, of course, came up from the National League behind Wrexham. What were both teams expecting going into this season? In my pre-season prediction, um, the video's out there, if you want to go back and check it out and see how wrong I am at the moment, uh, go and do so, it's on the channel. Uh, but yeah, as I say, in my pre-season prediction, I had Notts County in fourth and Mansfield in seventh. Now, I've got to say on reflection, I feel that Mansfield are probably a position or two lower uh, than I think they'll end up in the end. I think they will end up in the playoffs. Uh, in the end now, and I, uh, you know, I said seventh, they're probably more looking at fifth or fourth, to be honest. Not as county, they definitely got to be in the top three for me at the end of the season. I can't see them not getting promoted, I have to say. I, I know it's early on in the season, but it feels like Notts County are going to run away with it this season. I know there's not a lot in points. In fact, I think county is just a point off 
Notts County going into this game, but it feels like they're going to run away with it. It feels like the Leighton Orient of last season, this season. And when you actually look at it, you look at the, the you know the top teams that were at the top after 12 matches last season, I think all the teams that were in the top three after 12 matches went on to finish in the top three at the end of the season. So I think that where you are now, in terms of if you're at the top of the table, uh, you know even this early on into the season, you've got a really, really good chance of getting promoted by the end of the season. And like you know, the, the record from last season after 12 games shows that. So I wouldn't say that Notts County are just going to win the league just because they're top now. But what, there's, there's something about them. They just look like they've got the right balance in the team. And as I say, I know that you know, it's not a lot in points, but they just look like they've got real quality. So I do expect that they'll be promoted. And as I say, I think, I think third place minimum, uh, I certainly think they'll be fighting for that title, that's for sure. You know, I, ju I just think Notts County have the quality to win League two, to be honest, and you know, as a Stockport County fan, it's tough to admit that there's a team out there that's stronger than us. But I think we've got to be realistic. Um, Notts County are looking really impressive, and you know what the thing that impresses me the most about Notts County? It, they don't really. It's not like they're even the top scorers of League Two. I mean, they're one of the top scorers, but they're not the top scorers of League Two. They're not the team with the best defensive record in League Two either. That's of course Mansfield. We just spoke about that. They're a team that seems to have the right balance between attack and defence. They seem to have everything spot on at the moment. And I'll tell you another thing that I really appreciate about Notts County as well. Like Stockport County did, they played through the hype of Wrexham. When Stockport County won the National League, they, you know, everyone was back in Wrexham that year. And Stockport County played through, they ignored it, they went nowhere better than Wrexham. And we won the title that year. Whilst Notts County didn't win the National League over Wrexham last season, they gave them a really, really good go. They took them very, very close to the edge. And I have to say as well, this season... In both in League 2 this season, Notts County are miles, miles ahead of Wrexham so far. And I'll tell you what, they play, they play each other two weeks. And I'll tell you something, I reckon Notts County, they'll absolutely hammer Wrexham. I'm confident in saying that at the moment. Wrexham will probably be there or thereabouts. They'll probably end up in the playoff spots. But I'll tell you something, this Notts County team, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting them to beat uh, Wrexham convincingly in two weeks' time. Uh, and again, another home game for Notts County. So just let me know your thoughts on that. Have I been too praising of Notts County? Because I certainly don't want to do that. We've still got to play him yet twice. Uh, and have I not given perhaps Mansfield enough credit as of yet? And also have a really underrated Wrexham. Let me know your thoughts on that. As I say, you know, I, I really do feel like I really bigged up Notts County. Uh, but Mansfield, like I said, they've got a really, really good defensive record. And from their point of view, I think they'll look at it and go, you know what, a, a point away from home against Notts County who are yet to even draw a game at home so far this season in the League 2. Never mind lose one. I think a point would be really valuable for Mansfield away. So I don't know what you feel about that. Maybe you're a Mansfield fan. Do you think uh, a point away from against Notts County is a good point? Do you think that you can do more than just get a draw? Do you, know, do you reckon you're going there and nick a win? For me, Mansfield will go there. They've got to go and use the fact they've got one of the best defensive records. They've got to stay compact. They've got to defend well. And I'm sure they will do that. Uh, and potentially, if the, if the chances allow themselves to, to maybe nick a goal or two. That's the only way I see Mansfield winning the game. Um, because I, I think you come up against Notts County teams got real striking quality. So, I, you know, I would be wary of that if it was Mansfield. But as I say, I think a point away from home is a really, really good point for anyone against Notts County at the moment. Never mind Mansfield, who, as I say, don't really have the firepower uh, so far this season in League 2, but it's the defensive record that's helping them stay up the league table. Again, let me know your thoughts on that. Have I got that wrong? That's just what I'm looking at when I see the stats. But as I say, Mansfield, though, I'm going to give them a bit of credit. They are a team that can make it really difficult for top teams. I've been there. I watched a really, really you know, frustrating draw against them in back in, I think it was March uh, of last season at Edgeley Park. So they do have the ability to make it really difficult for teams. They've, of course, beaten us already this season um, away from home. You know, They are a decent team. So I'm not underrating Mansfield. I'm just, I'm just saying that I think for me, Notts County are far too superior. I do expect a win on the day. So let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts on the match score prediction. I'm going to go with a 3 1 win for Notts County. I just I can't see Notts County not scoring a few goals. I know it's Mansfield who've got the best defensive record so far in League 2 this season, but I think they'll crack that defence quite easily. I just think that Notts County will open the floodgates, and when they do, I think they'll get a few goals. I do expect Mansfield to get a goal themselves. I'll go with a 3 1 win. I think it'll be a really, really good game as well, obviously on Sky Sports. So, County fans, if you haven't been able to get a ticket for Harrogate away, 
Watch it on Sky tomorrow. It's going to be a great game, I'm sure. And it might be one to keep an eye on. As I say, if results go our way, if Mansfield can do a decent job on Notts County and we win our game and results go right elsewhere, potentially Stockport County could be sat at the top of League 2 by the end of Saturday night. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on this game. Score prediction. Uh, get involved in the comments. Who's going to win this title? How big is this game as well? Is this a game that could potentially, you know, at the end of the season, do you look back at this and go, you know what, that was a big game to win. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on everything League 2 and everything Notts County, on Mansfield Town as well. Uh, and as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and thanks for tuning in.